The A2 Hercules Heavy Bomber. The Scourge of Stanton. The Nightmare of New Babbage. The Jumptown Jammer and the Crown Jewel of the Crusader Industries lineup. This thing is feared wherever it goes and for good reason. Like its C2 and M2 variant counterparts, this big booted bitch is one of the few ships that has enough junk in its trunk to fit the largest of ground vehicles in the game. Spartan, Ballista, Centurion, Nova Tank, not a problem. The A2 was made to be able to deliver entire fleets to a battlefield with enough gear to keep your troops armed and ready to go as soon as you make contact. The Hercules series is famous for its unparalleled space on board, but unlike the C2 and M2 variants, the A2 comes with a devastating complement of six remote turrets loaded with six size 5 weapons and four size 4 weapons spread amongst them. Help defend your assault team when they're on board or as they're being deployed or even extracted from a location. The A2's turrets give it full coverage over its loading ramps and battlefield around it. Not only that, but it still has two size 5 pilot controlled guns, meaning that unlike most other military ships, even if it's piloted solo, you still have considerable firepower to take down most small to medium sized fighters yourself. And most impressively of all, the A2 comes equipped with four size 10, yes you heard me, size 10 gravity fed bombs, the nukes of Star Citizen capable of wiping out an entire battlefield of life with just one well-placed bomb. This can't be like, oh my God. I can nuke them all. They can all die. The A2 is a terrifying thing to spot coming over the horizon. Since if you're on the wrong side of the fight when this thing comes around, your only real option is to run as fast as you can or hope to God you weren't its target. I recently got my hands on one for the first time and decided to see how it handled in the 3.18.1 PTU. I'd be spending 72 hours maining the A2, attempting a slew of missions and seeing how it handled. Could I just complete missions with a well-placed nuke? Stay tuned to find out. My name's Dead Leader, and let's blow this one up. So I'd only ever been on c2 and an m2 before i got my hands on this a2 and this whole sort of upper area while it's kind of like visually different and it's sort of i guess sort of interesting i really wasn't a big fan of it it just kind of seemed like a large unused space the bridge is pretty impressive with the a2 uh you have your main pilot seat your co-pilot seat and your gunner seat and as the pilot, you control, you know, your main pilot controlled weapons and the nukes and your co-pilot and the gunner both control considerable size remote turrets uh, on the front and the back of the ship. So if you had just people down below loading and unloading uh, vehicles, as long as you had a full crew in the main cabin, you could have enough coverage to make sure that they were getting on no, just fine. It's actually quite remarkably uh, easy to handle around an atmosphere as well. For its size, you'd think that uh, it would kind of be uh, a bit more sluggish than it is, but you can pretty much just have this thing take off and jet out of atmosphere as, as fast as any medium fighter really could. I wasn't too much of a fan of the design of the Hercules chassis um, initially. I mean, the whole ship kind of like the uh the um what's it called like the the titan series they to me from a sci-fi they look a little bit too much like you know what actual ships or planes look like uh you know in the real life and i think i, I like a little bit more sort of sci-fi in my design and that's the trade-off between the three hercules um the c2 pretty much has you know no significant weapons uh, but it has the most amount of uh, storage space, and it's also the cheapest among the three. The M2 uh, has a whole lot more weapons, but you know, significantly less uh, storage space once more. And then the A2 has the least amount of storage space um, and the most amount of weaponry, <laughs> obviously. But um, that being said, when I say that they've got less storage space, 
Uh, I don't necessarily mean the floor coverage downstairs uh, where you put cars. There's a little bit less with the A2 because just because there's a spot for the bombs, but it's negligible to be honest. And the M2 is pretty much the exact same as the C2's floor space. I mean the actual like cargo grid capacity if you were like buying and trading cargo. And I just noticed these on here as well. These little storage units that it has where it says personal storage. These are actually amazing. Um, this sort of storage is shared storage. So normally when you enter a ship, if you've got like a full complement of people, when you access the inventory of the ship, everyone will have sort of like their own cordoned off um, sort of amount of storage. And so it's very hard to like swap gear uh, to give to other people or like you can't just have like all your drinks and all your bands and all your guns in the there and say oh just grab them out of the ship kind of thing you either have to have them on a weapon rack or you need like an external storage box but these little personal storage ones that only very few ships actually have I think the Redeemer um, and even the Medical Pisces actually have some of these uh, so you could like chuck a whole bunch of stuff in here and then be like all right go get it out of this one this you know this storage is you know, it could be like, this storage is for you, right? Oh, I went and dumped that helmet you often needed in your storage. Or, you know, if you're just trading things between players, these storage units are super duper duper important. And these, I believe, are... Yeah, these are like uh, clothing lockers. So this is something... Uh, I, I made a video recently of the thing I want more than anything in Star Citizen, with it being screens working. The second thing is getting those lockers working. Um, being able to like change gear quickly and for different occasions or just getting into your casual CVs and back into something you need to go outside with is something I really want to be able to do. It's the bathroom and toilet. Easy. I guess this is the, the other one. Oh, what's up with the toilet? Oh, there's no pooper in this one. It's fine. I guess I'll just mash it down with my foot. Yeah, same thing. Same pipes. Let's take a look in the uh, kitchen, see if there's anything working in here. I like how the doors open very like quickly in this. No, nothing seems interactable. Let's click on this, anything interact? Doesn't seem like it. Let's sit down. Oh, wait. Is the coffee maker? I wonder if that I don't think it, maybe it's just making the sound, but there are coffee makers that work in the game. Maybe if I had a mug, a good place there, maybe it would work. Oh, there's a little guy down here. Hello, little guy, what are you doing down here? What's up with like, looks like he's been shot. Is this a bullet hole in his chest? Brutal. All right, well, that's the best part of the ship so far. This is the turret room. Imagine all these servers and stuff are sort of for like AI blades when they come into game. So if you want uh, turrets to be controlled by like an AI, you can use it there. And let's see which which ones are which. I kind of should probably get acquainted with which of these controls which gun. Okay, so this is the the single size five Omniski. So this is the on the right wing. So in this room, I believe there's two single size fives like this, and I think there's two double size fours as well. So if this is the front right one, that's where the seat is. So I guess it would make sense that the uh, the guns are all in like equivalent positions as to where they are on the, the ship. Let's see, so this should also be a single size five on the scheme. Yeah. So these should be all right. These are facing backwards. They should be the the two size fours each, which sort of are already sort of facing. They're facing backward on the wings. Yeah. Yeah, they are facing backwards. Yeah, this, that, that's the yeah, that's the single one we were using before, facing forward. All right, good to know. Be a completionist for completion's sake. I'll jump on the other one too. In this case, I don't want to get any 
you know, surprises when I need the guns. <laughs> Since I'm going to be soloing this whole huge thing, I need to know exactly what my guns are going to do at any given time. Yep. These are two size fours. Let me shoot my own chips. Good to know. And the armory. Okay. That's how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight large guns. I would have thought this is for guns, but I think it might be another like a outfit thing. Okay, so eight and eight, and there's also pistol slots at the top as well, though. Yeah, see, these lockers, I want these so work so badly. I have no idea. I want my own sort of, like, Iron Man Hall of Armors <laughs> in all these things. I, I love setting things up, like nesting in these ships. So the, uh, I would, like, have these all loaded up with my favorite armor sets and stuff, but, you know, whatever I felt like at the time. Nice little armory, this area. Like, I'll definitely want to try and fill this up as best as I can over this time. Just, yeah, wish that fucking lock has worked. Look sick coming in here with all this gear ready to go. I would definitely make you, like, be careful with, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to lose your ship. Where currently, as it stands, it's like, eh, I could lose it. <laughs> Most ships you can barely get, uh, some of the larger vehicles kind of anywhere near inside them. The, the vehicles you can get in most ships are like the Ursa Rover, the Cyclone series, um, you know, and the STVs and PTVs and the Dragonfly and the Nox and sort of hover bike type things. But when it comes to the larger, like people mover, um, grand vehicles like the Spartan, Centurion, the Ballista, and of course like Nova Tank, uh, which is literally a tank. Um, I think you can only get them onto the Hercules and like the 890 Jump. Yes, 890 Jump. I know the Origin 600i is getting a rework, so apparently it's um, it's vehicle bay is going to be able to handle uh, a Nova tank. I've um, I've bought and mounted a 600i with store credit so many times before, and um, I think finally when it gets that rework done, I'll definitely buy it again because. Um, yeah, it's, it will have a working med bay to be able to respawn in the 600i and to be able to carry a Nova tank. That's going to put it like, you can't do that in a Carrick, so it will put it above the Carrick in that sense at that point. Plus the Hercules is one of the only ships where it's stock standard paint. I don't immediately hate, you know, like the, the black with red trimming is really probably one of like the, the best, um, sort of looks for ships stock standard. In my opinion. All right, so I'm doing another first. I haven't checked out Whistler's Crypt yet, which is supposed to be like uh, a crash landing site plus um, like little outpost with a bunch of baities. So I want to come by here and see how many people because holy shit, what the fuck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's it's like 25 over. It's like 60 MPCs here or more. Oh my god, they're everywhere. They're like ants. This can't. What? This can't be like. Oh my god. I can nuke them all. They can all die. Nuke the whales? I don't know. Gotta nuke something. Touche. This is like. Say goodbye to, like, bunker shopping. Hello, crypt nuking. The new meta for going loot shopping. Okay, so I've actually never fired one of these bombs before. I mean, I've watched enough, like, things on how to do it. It should be fine. I thought there was going to be, like, a different thing pop up, but I'm just going to hover over the top and see if it just drop on out how it goes. Oh, there it goes. Put this in your pipe and smoke it. I think I'm gonna fuck that up. Okay, I got a red circle this time. Hold on. So I'll try and press it right on top of me. I need to do some research on dropping bombs, I think. 
See if we can just spot a million dead bodies here. Yeah, I can see a bunch from here already. Let's see if there's not anyone just floating around yet. Yeah, that's free. It's free gear right there. Let's get it on board. Hello, sir. Welcome aboard. Good evening, madame. Table for three. Yes, we will see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right here. Must be more. I wonder if they like. Ah. Uh, Fuck. Right, let's take a look. Luckily, it stored my ship. Even still got the dead bodies on board. But. Yeah, some here, but there's not the same amount as there was. Oh man, I think it was bugging out when it gave me like a million dudes there. Is does this game even know how good that content would have been? CIG. Alright. See if I can't do this a bit better this time. I'll come by. Try and come by like lower and low and fast. So we're gonna turn around in time. Oh man. Alright, I'll try one more time. Perfect for that. And... <laughs> Damn, I can't get the camera always in time. Look at that. Oh, beautifully char-grilled. Nice and crispy on the top. I tell you what. I'm... Get the ramp down just to make sure I can jump in and out easily. Sometimes if you lower them once you landed it's you realize that they're not actually hitting the ground let's take a look we got any dudes still around yeah a couple corpses lovely got this one shark it in there with the rest of the team well yeah, it's a bit far away i'm able to dump them halfway yeah good enough Oh, this guy. Sorry, there was a guy. Ooh, chunk him. Also, I just sort of halfway down. Try and pick him up. Let me actually take a, take a look in here. This is the... Arrow like 600 i This is the one I was talking about where it's going to be getting a... Med band you can spawn in and be able to carry a tank in the future. It's just there was so much of this like space that was like kind of useless. Like you may have seen my things I stupid thing that I want in the game the most. This whole area was like a, a kitchen and a pool table and a, a TV that didn't work. You know, in here was uh, I think it was like uh, engineering parts, weirdly, was in there. It was just a like it's such a huge ship. But the majority of the space was for nothing. Like there wasn't anything. There's no reason why you'd want to like visit there kind of thing. Wait, is it someone coming? Yeah, it's definitely a ship. Where is it? Cutty Black. Is that a player? No, it's landing like a NPC. 
It's far too clean a line. Yeah, that's a nine tails. Uh oh. This isn't the best gun to shoot a ship with since it's an energy weapon. It's not really gonna go through its shields. Maybe you can distract it. Or if they get off the ship. There we go. There we go. The shield is. My shield's holding up. I can see it's only still bouncing back blue. It's not red yet, so it should be fine. Let's see if I'm spotting. Stop shooting. Oh! Uh, where the fuck is that? Where? Where did that come from? Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm back. Time with a vulture, just in case I've come across any wrecks. I guess I can scoop them up and chuck the loot inside the A2 as well. So I want to get my outfit I was just wearing back. It was a good armor. Um, alright, get out, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay, that was... Yeah, I could see a bunch of people spawned in again. Great, they've respawned. Love that. So I guess if you really, if you nuke them, they send reinforcements. And if you go away for too long, well not even too long, if you just go away, the normal ones spawn back in again. I mean, I know it's an A2 episode this time, but if we had something that could <laughs> uh, respawn you, like the Carrick, it'd be perfect for this. If you had a Carrick and an A2 to bomb them and the character keeps spawning in just for, if you die like an idiot like me, so you have to leave the area, it would be a pretty clean job. Just getting here, bombing them, taking everything, getting out of there. Man, it took that fire like a champ. Like, look, looks totally fine. So it's pretty strong to be able to stay here and tank as much shit as possible. It really is not near these anymore. Yeah. Really blood in my eyes again. Lemon. Zinger. Alfred and Norman. Pepper Potts. Mary Jane Watson. Nice. Let's just, give, let's just lay it on a little, a little extra. These bombs cost a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, oh, there goes the vulture. Also, a lot of innocent life. Just trying to get a good spot where I can track them in. Closer than before. What you doing? Yeah, it's fine. Come on, that little guy. See, if I had. This is me all soloing this. If I had 
actual crew. And he came by, dropped a, dropped a couple of nukes on this location, parked it like here, and everyone came out with multi tools and guns to clean up like any leftover guys and get everything on board. This whole thing would take like a couple minutes and it would be super safe. You would walk out with just like, you know, dozens of suits of armor and weapons and loot and everything. And it would be like, you could just swing by here and then just have it done pretty like easily. Uh uh-oh, here, come. here comes the Cutlass Black again, filled the reinforcements. Oh no, but I'm in my A2. Oh, what am I gonna do? Maybe I will hide in my turret room. Oh, I wonder if they're still out there. Whatever will I do? Oh no. <laughs> it's like four shots. <laughs> hey, yeah, they're dead. Damn. Damn. There's a gun still down there with that dead body. Okay, so there's any still alive people. I don't know if anyone survived me blowing up that uh, cutlass black. Oh, but it's, uh, they might have gotten down. I'll put this canopy over me. Oh. Just use it as a bit of a shield when I go up. Be over precautious. I don't really want to have to fly back here again. I love these helmet pieces and these guys. It doesn't match their outfit whatsoever. But, um, what's it called? A yeah, fortifier helmet. It's not the only way you can get them. It's nice of them to deliver some extra bodies. I think I've done a fairly good job of cleaning up the corpses. I'll we'll just take a little bit more look through the camp to see if there's any, like, actual loot crates and stuff, I think, then it might be done. Let's see what's up here. Hello, body man. Do you need any bodies? Actually, do you have any bodies for collection? Oh, there's one. Hello. Let's see a corpse cap. I can kind of see it there. Let's see if we can get it from here. There we go. I feel like there's gotta be loot up there. You don't just make super unique looking spot like that at the top of a hill with a bunch of ladders and them not keep sick loot at the top, you know? But how do you get up there? Here we go. What the fuck's up with this gun? The stock. Oh, okay, it's back. Just nuked it into deleting itself. Yeah. Wait. What? Why don't let me get up there? Wait. Hold on. The fuck? This broke ass ladder? You fall through the broken pipes and I'm stuck behind it? I'm not like stuck, stuck, am I? Oh, I'm stuck, stuck. Hold on, let me try this trick. We can dance it away. There's this trick where if you get stuck in the, like the world mesh of stuff, if you like emote that has, like some emotes have you, especially like the dancing one, has these moves in it where like you'll walk around a bit, like you'll step back and step forward. And sometimes, uh, it doesn't like talk to fit them um, like the world mesh stuff and so you can manage to like pop yourself out if you like dance <laughs> and I, i've managed to get out of, of like a few of these spots in the um 
the Caterpillar Rex. Like I'm always getting glitched into the sides of those Caterpillar Rex. I can't go them anymore. It's too dangerous for me. But maybe... I also feel sad out in the middle of the desert. Trapped under a ladder dancing. No, I think it's going to let me out. I don't want to have to die again and come back here. Let's see I'm out here. Snake! What happened? Snake! Snake! <sighs> All right. Back to the crypt. All right, it's time we've brought an arrow. I'm pretty sure the arrow fits in the A2. So maybe we'll just park it right in there. Since I still want to fill the vehicle, let's fill the ship with some vehicles anyway. Should have done it from the front. The Bombay is still kind of blocking. Ah, it'll be fine. I mean, gotta go a little further in. Oh. Looks like I'm trying to get the A2 pregnant. Come on now. Come on now. This is this is fine. Probably get out of here. It's fine. Landing complete. Take off complete. It's fine. Just close the door. I'm sure it'll just click into place. Just in case it doesn't, I'm going to go to the other side of the ship while well, we'll be safe. Only tr potentially blowing something up near like a nuclear weapon. Just only now. Oh, yeah. Weirdly, that did kind of just take care of itself. Is that what I'm doing? I'm registered to work around nuclear firearms, you guys. It's fine. We're professional. Don't try us at home. It's fine. Just put my butt. Dead body. Like so. Uh oh. What the hell is that? That's not an NPC. Should probably hurry up. Just yank it loose. It looked like a Mercury star right now, so it's not like you can do anything to me. Hey! Come on, big boy. Don't be needing this anymore. Yep, there's that Mercury star on her again. Let's probably get out of here. I wanted to get a few more dead bodies, but yeah. For sure, this is the guy that saw me in chat earlier and sent me a friend request. I think for sure he's friendly, but never know. You can't sort of stick around in case someone's like, you know what? I want to kill that leader. <laughs> It'd be so easy right now. Nah, I don't want to be that guy who's like, that leader is a prick. I saw him. I sent him a friend request, and then he nukes me when I went to say hey. I can't have that story emanating around, you know. I'm not that guy. All right. Now I've got a new 
a bit of a new trick for the boarding action in progress, the 890 jump mission. I actually did a, um, I did a, uh, like a how to guide on this, um, in 3.17. Um, but it's actually, the mission's changed a fair bit since then. There's a, a good way of doing it now. There's a, like more enemies there this time around. And, uh, Actually, a fair bit more difficult than it needs to be. Oh, man, it should be here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Target destroyed. destroyed. There he goes. Attack on shield. Oh, Target destroyed. I like to full death those NPC ships just because they stand your radar as red. Contact them. Sometimes it freaks me out. So I forget how many enemies there were. Four in. Uh, we got 17, but there's like 20 here now. Um, and I swear that halting the transmission thing, it used to be so easy to do. I used to just run on, check like one of three different spots and then do it. But they've, I swear they've lowered, they must have like halved the timer that, it, that you need to be able to do it. Cause look, I'm not, I'm just rocked up and there's like a minute 30 that I need to be able to like halt the transmission here. It's ridiculous. Now, gotta respect a good, like, EVA to gravity entry. You gotta. Alright, so the first thing you wanna do is try and. You mean to make a beeline straight for the med bay. First tip straight for the med bay. Because you, you gotta set your respawn on it. They, um,. AI, uh, so much more unpredictable um, on this mission now. So a little tip to get to the med bay. We're in the wrong hole here, but you go down that little chute at the start when you enter, then you go down, not down here, but oh, yeah, definitely need to get the med bay. Go up here, then up here to the right, there'll be the med bay. Uh, and you can set your respawn point in here. Look at that, the transmission's already like, already failed that, it's ridiculous. All right, yeah, always, first thing you do, before you get distracted, like I almost did, set your respawn point here. Ooh. I've messed that up and got distracted too many times and not done it, and I had to really pay for it. Even if you think, even if you're that guy that just like, was always in my chat, it's like, Oh, I just run in and just knock everyone out. I don't even bring a gun. Look, we've all done that. We all know you can do that on bunkers. Don't look. Snake, answer me. Snake, snake. See that? See how quickly that was. The door opened and boom, I'm dead. It usually takes them like even a split second for them to like realize and lock onto you. That guy was like waiting for me. Holy shit. Okay. And that's another thing. They move around a whole lot more now. They usually just would stay like in their lane. But the, the AI, the NPCs are fully like searching around and stuff now. So we can just get this from the doorway. Freak kid. So second, second good tip of the no drop mission now. All the guns that you find around, put them into the ship's inventory. As you go around, just kill everyone first, put their guns in the ship inventory, and then we'll take care of the bodies at the end. I'll show you the new trick for that. Oh, okay, see, they're fully like looking around the ship for me. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting that one. Ugh. What's wrong? Snake, snake! See? Send your respawn point. I would have had to have... 
<laughs> Flown back so many times by now. Shit. That was reckless. Yeah, there we go. Uh. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? See, set your respawn point. <laughs> Bastards. What the? That guy. Oh shit. They're like coming from like the opposite sides of the ship to get to me. That I'm sorry, but if you've ever done this mission before, they do not do that normally. This is new. Okay, so this is the next part of the tip. Instead of doing the old open the hangar, move your ship over, and then move the bodies into your ship one by one. Drop them, like, lower this cargo bay here. Bring them on one by one while you're still inside the ship. And then just drag their undersuit into this 300 eyes inventory. Because what we're going to do is we're going to, once we've all got all the bodies in here that we want, um, we're going to take the ship out and we're going to blow the ship up. And like with my, my Pisces tip that I usually... Uh, show off we load a, a Pisces up with inventory then just self-destruct it we're gonna do that here with all this gear and so instead of like having to take each piece out one by one we're actually gonna make three um two SU crates in one go with this so three of the big storage crates we're gonna get just from this one trip alone so getting being able to do this while you're also getting like a ton of loot and armor and gun sets is huge it's such a good start if you're setting up a ship and like filling it up so hopefully from this we're going to be able to fill up the a2's uh armory just to the brim with guns and stuff oh. come on oh This is the good thing about this as well, of keeping all the guns in the 890 jump inventory. Means that uh, it's easy to rearm up again when you revive. Let's try to keep one set in there. Most. Oh god. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, I did the objective complete. I'm not terrible, I'm the, the greatest uh, deadly alive. By life, I mean I'm dead. Snake. Snake. All right, here's the next tip with the 890 jump mission. All right, say you got, say you've cleared out this part of the ship and you got all these bodies here. You're like, all right, well, I want to get them down. To the 300 I. What's the best way to get them down to the hangar? Let me show you. I call this move, just flush them down the toilet. Flush. 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 Got a bit stuck inside of the bowl there. For lush. And you just send them down the hallway. And all the way down the hallway will eventually reach the 300 eye in the hangar. So all in all this mission is great because not only do you get the mission money, which I think is like 45k. But you get all the best armor sets in the game, a whole bunch of guns, 
and you get three two SU crates. It's massive. It's a one-stop shop. You don't even need to nuke it. So now once you've got all the corpses in that you need, what you're gonna do is now you wanna get the guns in there. So do that, essentially stand out of the 300 i so you can access the eight honey jumps inventory. And then just equip all the guns you can. So two in the back, one in your hand, and then just one by this, just gonna do them three by three. I'm gonna walk in, I'm just gonna drag them into the ship's inventory. So this is just better than having to uh, like multi-tool them around the bodies. It's like, it's a bit of juggling with all the bodies and that, and it's kind of annoying as it is. And the guns are a little bit more annoying because they kind of like, they glitch, they have a tendency to glitch out more and bounce around and they can go straight through like the ship's uh, meshing and stuff. So it's more reliable just to chuck them in the inventory, keep them in the one place. It also means we'll probably get more of them. Because to be honest, like you just end up leaving them around on the floor or just like not doing it at all. Okay, so we're just gonna raise it up out here. Actually, one time I I tried to do this by like self-destructing it, but it was like not initiating right. And then it was like the, the door lags to let me out. It wouldn't let me out. And then I blew up with it. And then I had my respawn point set inside the Med base. So I thought it was going to be fine, but it just went to like a black screen and uh, stayed that way for like 10 minutes until I just quit and gave up. So that kind of bummed me out. I actually made a video on this like a weeks ago. Um, but because that was like the ending, I'm like, that's so like I needed the victory shot of the, the boxes. So I'm giving up on this. So I'm not risking the self destruct, but I'm pretty sure it's possible. Like, that you know, jumps get so much health, you could probably just self destruct inside of it and it would be fine. Mm. And I'd load the shields on it too, so it shouldn't take much. Target. Yeah, they're in. They're going to commit a destruction of vehicle against you. Bastard. That's weird. It actually like classified that as our ship somehow. Holy. Okay, there we go. See that? See the three icons for the boxes we just made. And like the, those storage, uh, pods that showed you upstairs these are the same type of inventory so it's not just like the ship owner or the box owner can access it like multiple people can access these ones um, which make them really good for groups and missions okay i can't get this one out of here it's like clipped into the exploded ship there's, there's two in here yeah there's two in here all right i'm just gonna try and see if i can just blow it up more or something I can like scoop it in the mouth. <laughs> the kill is if we just get the whole, just get the whole thing in there. Yeah. Um, num, num. Oh, oh, wait, I think they popped out. Yep. There we go, you can see it's spinning, it popped out. And both of them? Yes, both of them. All right. I guess I can just, yeah, it's just hungry, hungry hippos, this. Whoink. And next one. Whoink. Oh, got the ramp. Okay, got it, let's check. One, two, three, three, yeah. Hey, got them all. Close the door in case we get some sticky bigs. Let's just move these puppies in line over here somewhere. Neatly in a row. Yeah. Let's just 
to make sure they're in there. Yep. All the goodies. Okay, let's try and get a couple vehicles in here now. They make the most of this vehicle bay, you know. I think I feel bad for not having, you know, some vehicles and ships and stuff in there this whole time. I've just been using it as a big empty room. Vehicle has been delivered to the following locations again. Okay. Goodbye. So we can get this Pisces in here. Make it a medical Hercules. <laughs> Medicated Hercules. This way. If I get injured like I was before it, also is crypt. Can make it so I'm don't get blood in my eyes all the time. Nice. Yeah. Nice. In the PU, I've got this thing stacked. It's filled. But here, sadly, all I've got is a medical Pisces and a sad little golf cart. <laughs> beep, beep. Still gets the job done. If you're on a mission where uh, you, know, you can't land because it's too hot, and you need to land just like over a ridge into a vehicle, these things will be just fine for that. Just park it in this corner out of the way. So you can fit so many like vehicles in this, like like STVs as well, like the Great Cat STVs. You can. Have these all lined up like either side you can still have like a tank or a blister or like a an apc like in the middle knocks us down the side and just have it absolutely stacked and still be able to walk around it's great all right let's try to make sense of all this inventory we've got now with these gun racks why am i standing with such like a sexy lean hey now I'd love filling up a good, good gun rack. I'm cathartic about it. Uh, it's just it's the completionist in me, you know, being able to fill all the slots. Nice. pistols in there the in case you didn't know these little top the tops of these gun racks that have these little notches here these are for pistols as well so you can and it can actually put like med guns and multi-tools in there as well so you can have like a good little selection of like uh weapons and, and health stuff and you know like one of each multi-tool like all hooked up ready to go for a while, these were all completely busted. So the fact that they're like way more reliable now at storing gear without like eating it is huge. Wait, what? <gasps> what is this? There's special storage here too? What? How many were there? So there were like six out there. How many is in here? Is there any over here? No. There's one here too, so three. Is there three in here? I guess these could be, since I can't use the armor lockers, I guess I could use these for armor. Is this a huge amount of these personal? This is absolutely like the most shareable crew storage in like any ship. So I put all the undersuits in here. Be cool if you like put the armor pieces and stuff in these and then it, you had an option to like auto fill the, uh, the suit lockers so like it pulled from the inventory to like put them on display in there that'd be cool and that's this one let's pull it uh what do we got yeah let's pull chest pieces maybe like the helmets or something 
Yeah, no, just pieces and heads. Yeah. Makes more sense. Legs and arms go in one whole one. I mean, yeah. I mean, it feels, it feels right. Ninety-nine percent perfectly filled it. Oh yeah, weapons, suits. Does this work? Now I'm curious if there's other things going on here that I don't know about. Works. This doesn't. <gasps> pull? No pull. Under here? No. Right, well, that's it. All right. Well, yeah, these ones here. Let's see. Like ammo in here? Yeah, just the rest of the guns. Alright, well. That's it for a big day for the A2. Let's turn on the, the bit in the nightlight. Here you go, the nightlight. So we can get up and pee in the middle of the night. In the shower with no toilet. Yeah, that's it. Off to Betty Buys after a big weekend of nuking the world. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Overall, A2 is a pretty crazy beast. I actually can't believe how overpowered it is, even just flying solo. It was quite easy to sort of manage everything, and it really only gets more and more, like, powerful the more people you have with it, but it definitely, like, Handling it alone is totally viable. Um, I mean, you're literally just nuking anything. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to being able to fly around with more people and seeing what... I want to do jump, jump Town's going to be great. So I'll do some content about that when that finally goes live. Uh, jump in there maybe with the, the Skull Scrapers. Anyway, like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, my name's Dead Leader. I'll see you out there in the nuclear apocalypse. Bye. I just started a Patreon recently for those who'd like to be able to support me. I'd like to thank Soul Galaxia for making it onto the Wall of Legends. Actually once flew through the Soul Galaxy and uh, let me just say that place stank.